Hi, my name's Gordon McIntosh. I'm a director within Cisco's worldwide partner organization. Welcome to The Shift. I'm here today with Kyle Brown, who leads our new consumption models within Cisco. Today we're going to be talking to you, our partners, about how you can capitalize on the shift in the market that's happening today as customers are moving rapidly to the opportunities that cloud bring to them. So Kyle, it's absolutely fantastic to have you here today. Uh, so welcome to The Shift. Thank you, Gordon. I appreciate it. Appreciate being here. No worries. Uh, I believe you had an interesting journey in getting here from uh, North Carolina yesterday. <laughs> I did. I did. We had a, a couple delayed flights, a couple canceled flights, and a long uh, car ride. Yeah. Well, at least you're here now, and we're very pleased to have you here. So we're here today, and we're talking about the shift that we're seeing in the market. We're seeing customers rapidly transitioning to cloud and X as a service and all of the opportunities that that, that brings to them. I just want to get your perspective before we start talking about our partners and the ecosystem. How do you see the market right now in terms of the transition? Yeah, Gordon, it's uh, been an, it's been an interesting journey on the cloud because if you'll remember a couple years ago, we weren't even sure what the cloud meant. We were trying to define the cloud and now it's taken, it's, it's been a rapid uptake in what that is and what it means to the end use customer. And it's really about them shifting their mindset around IT away from the, I need a network, I need a phone system to I need solutions. And where those solutions sit doesn't really matter to the end user. They want solutions to solve their business problems and that's what cloud is answering for them. So it's basically unlocking technology to solve business uh, problems within the customer. Yeah, and it's unlocking sophisticated IT to some to the smallest businesses up to the enterprise customers. But it's doing it in a way that's making it very simple for them to operate. Right, and a lot of these benefits were really restricted to the to the enterprise through very sophisticated IT systems in the past. Mm -hmm. um, so when when you're a customer, if you put yourself in the shoes of the customer, what are they thinking about in terms of the way they're going to consume technology in the future? What do they expect from it? What do they want? Um, Perhaps you can just put yourself in the shoes of a, of a customer for a second. Right, so the, the, customer, the customer is looking at, I run a business, and I want to be able to drive the growth and profitability of that business so that I'm successful as a business. And IT can enable that, or it can hinder that. And what cloud is, has, has enabled them to do is to take technology and use it to, to uh, enhance their growth versus holding them back. Because right. typically they're in a position where they, they can't afford an IT person, they can't afford uh, you know, a lot of the sophisticated enterprise type solutions, but cloud has brought that down and made it simple for them so they can implement that in their businesses and they can really focus on what they do, which is driving their profitability in their business. Yeah, you make a great point around the you know challenges of funding an IT department, right? right. It's, it's expensive, um, yeah. but really that's a role that our partners can play for those customers, they can become that IT department. So now you put your shoes in the partner, right. and you look out and you see right. this change and suddenly all these customers ready to buy. Right. Um, what do you think about from a partner perspective? Well, I think from a partner perspective, it's unlocked a whole new segment for them to go after. Because now you've got a group of businesses that are not looking at IT as something that can hinder them or something that's a big cost for them, but something that they can really use to take advantage to grow their business. And now our partners may need to, be, may need to shift their outlook on what their role is, but there's a huge role for them now in the marketplace to be able to be that IT department for those small uh, to mid-sized organizations that are now rapidly taking the cloud. Yeah, so there's a shift in the market. Partners need to shift their business practices to take advantage of it too. Right. Yep. Um, so if you're a, if you're a partner and you you know what are you what are you thinking about? Because you traditionally you've been installing networks, you've been right. attaching services, maintaining networks. Right. Um, you know suddenly a lot of that's going to move or shift into the into the cloud. Right. Um, so how does your role in terms of your engagements with your customers change? Right. So the one thing that doesn't change is that trust or advisor role that the partners always had with the customer. So that's a key foundational block for them to maintain. And from there, now it's making recommendations, maybe to your point, shifting away from traditional recommendations to now more cloud-based recommendations that can help not only them solidify that trusted advisor, but also solidify that customer as continuing to be a customer within their practice. 
Right. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we all know customers, smaller customers, medium sized customers, large customers like to buy from people and, you know, the trusted advisor status, the customer right. footprint that partners have built uh, up over the years is, is, is something to leverage moving forward. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so let's, let's talk about Cisco. Mm-hmm. Um, what's Cisco doing to enable partners um, selling into, into these uh, customers? How are they enabling cloud and making the transition from you know, being a traditional resale partner to starting to sell all of the goodness that cloud has to offer to the customer base? Right. So a couple of things a partner will need to be able to shift to is maintaining um, not only that customer relationship, but being able to provide that from a consumption-based standpoint. So to your point earlier about the financing and the cost, et cetera, the barrier to entry for a medium-sized company because of cloud has been reduced because it's now based on consumption. So partner needs to be able to shift into a consumption-based cash flow business model, and Cisco is working to help them enable that. One of the projects is Project Cumulus, where Cisco has gone out and built the storefront, built the back end, and allowing partners then to be co-branded, and then putting the finances behind that to allow that to be consumption-based down into the customer. So you're basically helping shift from old business model within the partner to the new business model. Yes. And what you're saying is the customer needs everything on one bill. Right. So what the customer is looking for and some of the things they struggle with is they look for these solutions. You can get six or seven different applications, but then you've got six or seven different bills. It's an accounting nightmare. You've got one on, you know, one on utility, one on metering, et cetera, et cetera. What the customer needs is a one bill, one line tech support, and one really trusted advisor that they can uh, rely upon to help them drive their, their business efficiencies. Ah, so, and so, so if I'm a partner, mm-hmm. I can co-brand uh, a service from Cisco mm-hmm. and start to drive my customers who can procure um, solutions from Cisco on one bill with one number to call if there's, if there's any issues. Yes. So Cisco has made the investment to create a platform to where that can be co-branded for partners, one bill, one tech support, um, a catalog uh, meant to highlight solutions that mid-market customers are asking for and they need to drive their business based on what region they're in. Got it. And a partner can um, be involved in this and get signed up in this and be able to drive their customers into their customer base. Because one of the things that's happening is if we don't make the shift or we don't do it, those customers are going to find it somewhere. Right. And it's either going to be with our partners and our partner base or it's going to be someplace else. Understand. And, you know, I think our go to market has been quite disparate. It's been technology mm-hmm. based and, you know, different bills for customers. Just a massive advantage in itself, bringing mm-hmm. the value of one bill um, to the customer. But what do you think around, I mean, what types of technologies do you see in the storefront that partners can resell to their customers? What are some of the technologies that spring to mind? Well, from a technology standpoint, it, and to your the little the point that you made, it is shifting. We're shifting with the market. As Cisco sees the market shift, we're making those shifts. So when we sold hardware, that's what the market was asking for. Mm-hmm. The market now is asking for something different. And with those technologies, it's going to be, you're going to have um, cloud-based as well as hardware-based technologies, SaaS-based technologies that the customers are asking for. So there's never, hardware's never going away. But there's going to be a shift in the in the balance of um, application-based uh, solutions as well as in cloud-based solutions that may be infrastructure as a service, it may be um, compute as a service, etc. Versus just I need a box. Right. So I mean, uh, Meraki, Webex, I'm really, you know hot selling products for us at the moment. Do you yes. see them playing in this space too? Absolutely. So when you think about um, this co-branded site, this really this e, uh, e-commerce site, it's about what does a business need to, to either start up or enhance their business where they're at. So you can have Meraki in there, you can have WebEx in there, you can again, you can have infrastructure in there from a, a service provider or a partner co-branded as uh, powered by Cisco. Um, we'll also have third-party uh, applications in there that, you know, maybe an accounting software, an HR software, a, a workflow software, that uh, SaaS application, that then the customers need to drive their business. 
Yeah, and all of that would be... All of that bundled together, one monthly bill, one tech support, one place to call, and all routed through, from a billing perspective, routed, co-branded through the partner. Great. So Cisco's talking a lot right now around intercloud mm-hmm. and our strategy to own the, the biggest public cloud in, in the world. And yes. um, you talked about Project Cumulus as a storefront, um, mm-hmm. you know, sitting in front of uh, SMB customers. Mm-hmm. How does intercloud connect to that storefront and how do you see the two playing out? Well, I see them both, uh, they're, they're highly complementary. As a matter of fact, uh, Cumulus uh, could be and, and is looked at potentially as the storefront for InterCloud. So it's basically taking what InterCloud is doing with the public cloud and the catalog that's being built within InterCloud and Cumulus being the front end portal for that. Yeah. So you potentially could unlock the power of that biggest public cloud from Cisco down into not only our partner base, but then down into the SMB customer mid-market base. So if I'm a partner, I can stand up the storefront, I can co-brand it, I can access Cisco's intercloud either in Cisco's data center or in the partner's data center, WebEx, Meraki, third party, whole slew of things, yes. right? Sounds fantastic. Yes. How do I say no? <laughs> <laughs> well, give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, currently right now we're running a pilot in Australia. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot behind the e-commerce platform, which a lot of people, um, you know, have been involved in building that, as well as the front-end portal. And right now what we're doing is testing it to make sure that obviously um, we understand the go-to-market, our partners understand the go-to-market, and we're meeting the needs of the end-use customer. Because one of the things we tried to, one of the things we did is we built this with the end use customer in mind, and then we backed up to say, okay, now how can we engage our partners? How does Cisco play with this? How do our service provider partners play with this, et cetera? So coming coming soon to a store near you would Com- be there. Yeah, coming soon. So we're piloting it right now. Um, we would be looking to launching this uh, in the near future then to other regions, and we're really looking at where the market is shifting. So we'll look globally to see where the market is shifting to to more cloud purchasing. Australia, huge market for cloud. Yeah. We'll look for those different countries and opportunities in the future. So Kyle, you've mentioned the, the name Cumulus a few times now. Is, is that how this is gonna be branded externally? No, Gordon, that's a great question, but Cumulus is our internal name for the project. So when we started it, you know, we went with a cloud name, Cumulus. But as we go external to our partners, um, you know, currently that name is under review, but it'll be launched something different than Cumulus. Got it. So, but it's effectively the uh, you know Cisco cloud store that our partners can co-brand and leverage in the marketplace. Absolutely. Well, the great news is that we're going to have you and a few others back uh, after launch of uh, Cumulus in the Cisco uh, storefront. So we'll be able to you know just see how how successful it's been with our, with our partner community in the near future here. Well, Gordon, I appreciate that. And I, I got to tell you, I'm very excited for our partners. This is something they've been asking for and something they really need because we've got customers who are looking for solutions. And Cisco, um, up until this point, uh, has been has struggled to give them the answers uh, to the partners. So this is something we're very excited about and look forward to coming back and telling you about the success. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot of answers for our partners and a lot of opportunity too. So, Kyle, thanks for coming on to the Absolutely. shift. Absolutely. And I hope your journey back is a little smoother than your one here. (laughs) I do too, I do too, thank you.